Hello, my name is Carly Nelson, and this is going to be a GeoGebra tutorial on how to customize the coordinate axes and grid. The goal is that by the end of this video, you will be able to customize the coordinate axes and grid. Once you log on to www.geogebra.org, you're going to be shown this screen. So let's go ahead and start. You will have six different view options, but let's go ahead and work in algebra today. Once you open the algebra view, you will be shown the x and the y axes. So let's go ahead and work on customizing them. Click on the menu tab, go to edit, and then options. Now you're going to be shown a dialog box that gives you four different tabs. Basic, x-axis, y-axis, and grid. In the basic tab, you can adjust the y and the x minimum and maximum numbers, and also the x and y-axis scale. So, for instance, if you'd like for every one on the x-axis for there to be two on the y-axis, you can make that adjustment. You can also show or hide the axes. Make them bold and also change the color and the style and the label style and several other various options. Let's go over to the x-axis tab. This is a neat feature because you can show or hide the x-axis, show the numbers or not show the numbers, show only the positive direction numbers, change the distance, change the tick style, Show a label or show a unit. Now let's go over to the Y axis tab. As you can see, the options are the same as the X axis tab. These are great features to be aware of for various mathematical concepts. For instance, if you only show one axis at a time, you can work with a concept like integers. Now let's go over to the grid tab. You have the option to show or hide the grid. There are three different grid types you can choose from. The different options are great in case you want to work with different concepts. For instance, in the Cartesian grid type, I can work with concepts like slope and line. Now you have learned about the four different tabs and customization options that you have available to you. Thank you so much for watching. Today you learned how to customize the coordinate axes in GRID and that includes various basic features. Please feel free to contact me at cnelson10 at woo.edu or comment below.